Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back yet again with another match reaction. And remember guys, and remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button guys, remember to share, because sharing Ivory Spice is caring. Boop. And today guys, it's West Brom 1, Manchester United 1, sadly, two points dropped again. Two wins in the last seven games for Manchester United. Absolutely disgusting, man. Disappointing result, guys. Come on. To drop two points a day, especially when Man City thrashed Tottenham and also Leicester thrashing Liverpool, giving it to those scousers up the bomb, bending them over and doing what they have to do, you know. At the end of the day, Liverpool say mercy. Fantastic results for them, for Leicester. But Leicester are level on points with us. And we could, today, we could have at least keep it level with Manchester City. But now, seven points behind them. You see the thing of believing whether we was in a title charge or title challenge or whatever you want to call it. This is the reason why I never thought we was in a title challenge, you know, in the first place. And that's why I believed in a little bit. And now, but it's reality now. It's the truth. We're not in this challenge, guys. Dropping two points against West Brom today, mm -mm. not what we needed. But hey, it happened. And guys, let's go straight into the match because today was Valentine's Day. Manchester United starting off really badly. Victor Vindelof once again, one more time, turning into expired Indian takeaway. Getting moved to by a guy I could not pronounce his name. Very early in the first two minutes of that match. Ah, Victor Vindelov. Is it? Well, we get moved to Dingye. Dingye. I could not even pronounce it. That's how much nobody knows who this player is. Once again, I keep on saying Victor Vindelov. He's weak. He's a pom pom. When we could see that goal, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I was looking at Oli Gunnar Solskjaer at the touchline and then seeing by there, looking at Oli doing this. And you guys know, you can definitely imagine. All he got is social response when I'm looking at him and looking at Bayi time to put by you on. Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit. Carry it, carry it, shit. Sorry guys, I actually forgot that I'm a Manchester United manager. Sometimes I can't believe it. I like watching the match on the iPad just like, because why? I'm a fan of Manchester United just like you. I can't believe I'm in this job. Jesus Christ, man. You know, like, and that's when he knew that I was onto him. He got up on his touchdown and started barking at the team. And that's when I thought, oh, Oli, oh, you really want to be like Klopp and, and Pep right now, innit? You really want to be a manager right now. You Klopp that I've seen you on your iPad. On the touchline, coming back, Bruno Fernandes with an equaliser in the first half. Spectacular finish, spectacular goal. Fantastic finish, man. Bruno again gets a goal, but did absolutely F all during the whole match. First half ending 1-1, one, one, guys. Thinking that Manchester United can probably sneak a win. Then me thinking that, oh, this is our typical away performance. We'll come back and score and make it 2-1 and win the game. And guess what? In the second half, no, we didn't. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. We just ended up drawing. Fuck. We just ended up not at all. In fact, I saw Harry Maguire getting moved to again by that dingy guy with pace. Right? Harry Maguire tumbling down like a bloody slab head because you know why he tumbled down because his head is too heavy for him to carry especially that captain band as well it's too heavy for him to carry so and that's why he had to tumble down because he couldn't handle thing yet with that slab head of his but guys man finishing the game one one full time Manchester United dropping points level on points now with Leicester even though we are second disappointing guys just a disappointing result man on Valentine's Day Guys, with your partner today, you know what you have to do to get your mood up, you know? You know what? It's going to be hard to get your mood up first. You're going to be like, babes, babes, stop it. Chill out. I'm not in the mood right now. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> yeah, babe, I'll tell you to stop that. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm in the mood right now. Screw Manchester United. Yes, get it on, babes. But yeah, man. Oh, what a result, man. Disappointing, guys. Disappointing. My, my overall thoughts... Again, guys, two wins in the last seven match. Yeah, it's not the best result. It's... And then, again, guys, like I said earlier on, two wins in the last seven games doesn't smell the best for Manchester United right now in terms of performances and form. You know, just two wins out of seven. What's going on? Before then, we looked like we was doing well. But now, 
when we get to that slump, we really start stinking and we start we start playing badly in a lot of matches. <sighs> match United Holics, it is what it is. Man of the match today, guys, got to go to Luke Shaw today. I thought Luke Shaw, with the assist, was terrific in the first half. Did well, okay in the second half, you know. No one else really stood out. A lot of players played badly today, especially Vindelof and Maguire. And also, as well, Bruno Fernandes to an extent. Donkey of the match, you know it has to go to expired Indian takeaway, Victor Vindelof, man. Oh, I'm tired of this Maguire and Lindelof partnership. You know, when you're sitting there, you see Bae fit, you're thinking, Oli, this is what's going to cost your job, you know. Stop favouring these two. It's not going to get you anywhere. If you want to learn from your mistakes, because you've had plenty of mistakes picking these guys, and they've been exposed several times, guys. Several times. You should know that. You won't pick that. But, hey, you want to keep a job, or you don't want to keep a job. That's on you, my brother. Anyway, guys, my United Hollets, man. It is what it is. Valentine's Day ended with a draw. You know, like I said, take it out on your partner so you enjoy the rest of Valentine's Day. Because Manchester United are going to make you feel good as a Manchester United fan. You know? Anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction. You know, from your boy at Foreign Spice. As always, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV 1, baby. And also the socials for me personally, which is Ivorian underscore Spice on the Instagram. Same on the Twitter. And as usual, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, guys. Remember to share Ivorian Spice because Ivorian Spice is caring, guys. And of course, catch me next time, you know, man's out. Huh, let me enjoy the rest of Valentine's Day, you get me.